Yeah, JB Moro, go and get your bag. What's up, fam? Welcome back to another Tea Talk with Breeze. If you are new here, hey y'all, welcome to the family. And if you already been riding with me, what's good? So as y'all know, I told y'all I wanted to start these tea talks with Breeze. Um, I told y'all in my previous vlogs that I used to do um, teacher tea talk, but of course I am no longer a teacher. So now I'm just gonna do tea talk with Breeze. Uh, I'm not giving tea on people. I'm not giving tea on things happening around me. I'm just giving tea on myself. So if you're not interested, then I understand. And if you if you want to know more about me, then you at the you in the right video. So I'm gonna try to make these like weekly, just so y'all can just have an update on like what's going on with me, um, what all I'm doing, and things like that. So today's video, um, I think I'm gonna make this a uh, tea talk with Breeze, get to know me. Um, so y'all can know a little bit more about me, my background, and things like that. Now I'm not gonna get like super personal. But I want you to have a little bit more of a connection with me through the screen. But um, just to start things off, if you don't know, my name is Jasmine. So that's kind of where some breeze stems from. So um, there's a song by the Osley Brothers. Really good song. I'm not going to play it for copyright purposes, but it's a really good song. Um, Y'all should go check it out. I have older parents, so that's why I know these, these type of songs, like old school vibes and stuff like that. So, um, yeah. So, um, if you don't know, if you don't like, I don't really want to go and find out. I'll just let you know here. But they have a song called Summer Breeze. And basically, it's like, Summer Breeze makes me feel fine blowing through the jasmine in my mind. So, that's where the name came from. It actually started. So, your girl used to be a Hooters girl way back when, when I was in college. I did not work there for long. I found out that it just wasn't for me. They had a lot of requirements, and we can get into that. But to make a long story short, the manager who worked there, used to call me Summer Breeze. At the time, I didn't know where it came from, but then my mama and daddy was like, you never heard that song before? And then they played it for me, and I was like, oh, okay, all right, it makes sense now. But yeah, your girl used to be a Hooters girl. Um, like I said, it lasted for a few weeks. The reason why I didn't care for it is because one, um, they had a lot of uh, requirements and a lot of restrictions. And what I mean is like, they require your makeup to be on every day. They required you to cover up your tattoos if you had any that showed within like your uniform. Um, your hair had to be a certain way. And it was just, it was really stressful because I was a full-time student at the time trying to leave class, go home or to my dorm or whatever, get ready, put on full face makeup, cover up my tattoos, make sure my hair was done before I went to work and be there on time. And plus like the Hooters that I worked at was on the other side of town from when, where I went to school. So it was just really, it was really time consuming. And like I said, I didn't even work there long enough for, for me to establish a, a name or establish like a relationship with the other Hooters girls or like get a a, a, a name with my, with the um, customers who came in to dine in. Cause you know how when you, when you have a regular who come in, like I ain't get no, no regulars, nothing. That's how, that's how short of a time period I was there. I was there to the point, I don't even think I learned them girls names. I think I remember one girl because she's my friend on Facebook. But other than that, I don't remember them girls' names. I don't remember the managers' names. I don't remember nothing. I don't even remember the menu. I don't eat at Hooters because the food ain't good. I mean, you, you know why people go there. And it's mainly only packed during, like, football season because even basketball season, people don't really hang out there. It's really just football season. People come and mostly they sit at the bar. And the only reason why they eat the food is because they drunk and hungry. But um, the money wasn't even worth it. To be honest, I think it might have been location because this location was in a part of town that I feel like just didn't get a lot of traffic versus like locations being close to like arenas and stadiums and stuff like that. But like I said, they had a lot of restrictions. Like you couldn't color your hair, anything that was unnatural. So like if you and then if you wanted to color your hair or get like highlights or streaks or something, you had to run it by the manager first before even um, doing it. Like, this one girl, like, we was doing training. And this was a new location. Like, it had just opened. And we were doing training. This girl came in. I'll never forget. She came in to training one day. And she had got her hair done. And she had dyed her hair red. And they fired her the same day. They told her either she her hair got to go or she got to go. And, baby, she was not going to change her hair for this. So, she she lived. And that's what I'm talking about. Like they, they restrictions was ridiculous. Like, they be like, you can't have tattoos. And if you do, you got to cover them up. Your hair got to be this way, that way. Like, she is on my table. Are you okay? 
You want to be in a video so bad. What do you have to say? Say something. Say hey to the people. She said hey, y'all. But anyway, like I was saying, like, and this is just like, yeah, that, like I said, it didn't last long enough. Then from there, I worked at Dave & Buster's, and I used to be a bartender at Dave & Buster's. And that was a better experience. Like, the customers was cool. They was friendly. The staff was, to the most part, cool. Uh, I don't know. It's just something about when you're a bartender, you're hanging out behind the bar, your whole shoes. Like, you can laugh, talk, you know, get to know your your your, your customers. I made good money. I, I made good money at Dave & Buster's because, like, you behind the bar, you mixing their dreams. Why you mixing their dreams? They in your face. You talking to them. Ha, ha, ha. He, he, he. You know what I'm saying? You you get that good relationship with your customers. That good, that good, um, you, that good, uh, what I'm trying to say, y'all. You just find that good balance between, you know, your work and, and having that bond with your customers. So, that was a good experience. That one was better than Hooters. Hooters don't recommend Zero out of ten. Dave and Buster's ten out of ten. I never recommend. But again, it depends on location. Since that's the only location we have in my city, that's why it was a good location. But again, that was when I was in college. But um, some more things that uh, about me. I don't have kids at the moment. I want kids. I would love to have a family at some point. Um, so coming soon. And of course, I keep y'all updated. When things like that happen to me, like engagement and stuff like that. Speaking of engagement, am I dating? Yes. My boyfriend has been in other vlogs. Uh, he make brief appearances. He don't like to really be in the camera, but from time to time he'll pop up and act a fool. But, um, because he's silly acting. But, yeah, we've been together for two years. It was two years back in January. So, yep. Um, and he is, he, uh, long story short about him. I met him through my cousin. Uh, they are really good friends. And when I say met him through my cousin, my cousin is a female, but she is a stud. Uh, and they were friends. They used to play the game together. And she posted me on her Snapchat. And then he slid up jokingly at first because, like, my cousin, she, she don't play about her cousins. Especially, like, her female cousins for whatever reason. Like, if she don't want no man to do us wrong. So he slid up and was like, hey, tell me you had a cousin that looked like that. But he was just messing with her. Like, he was like, he meant it, but at the same time, he was just messing with her because he know how she get with stuff like that. So she told me. And at first, it started off with me. I was talking to him, but the place he worked at the time, he worked in a warehouse. I'm not going to say what warehouse, but he worked in a warehouse. And me, being me, I was like, I'm not fooling with anybody in the warehouse because I know how the folks in the warehouse get down. I had friends who worked in the warehouse. My brother worked in the warehouse. My daddy was a manager, supervisor at the at the warehouses. I know how to get down, and I wasn't going to be a part of that. I was like, you're not about to stress me out because you're talking to me, but you're also talking to this girl, that girl, another girl that worked with you at the warehouse. If you know, you know. So you're not about to stress me out. So um, I think I talked to him a good two times, if I'm not mistaken. Um, first time I talked to him, I was like, this is where I work. And I was like, nah, Buki, it's not going to work. Um, and I started talking to him. And then it came around again. And I was just like, uh, I will this, I, I will be honest. He's younger than me. Not a lot younger than me, but he, 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 he a couple years younger than me. Um, if you know what a couple means, you know what, you, if you know what a couple is, you know what a couple is. He a couple years younger than me. And, uh. I didn't know how I felt about it at the time because I was like, I have never dated anybody younger than me. They either been the same age as me or slightly older. Now, I don't like extremely young guys. I don't like extremely older guys. I like that balance in between. I don't know. I just, I'm not against it, but I just never, I never dated anybody younger than me. I felt like our mindsets were different at the time. I feel like our mindsets were different because keep in mind, we were younger at the time. So I, I want to say I was like, I want to say I was like 24 four-ish 23 24 ish at first um then yeah later on down the line he resurfaced and we started back talking again and this time it was a little it, it, i might say a little it was much better he had a better job uh i was in a better position uh, we were both older we had matured more uh, we went out a few times and the rest is history and here i am two years later dating him yeah, I'll be honest, like, this is the best relationship I've ever had or have ever been in. But, yeah, so, um, he does want marriage. Uh, I, he, he wants kids. We both want the same goals. Like, he wants to have a family. I want to have a family. But right now, we're just enjoying each other, traveling, taking trips, 
travel vlog coming soon. Um, next month to be exact. So I'll be in Vegas. But um, it's my first time being in Vegas, y'all. But yeah, we just we vibe. I'm not gonna say we vibe because we're in a relationship, clearly. But um, we we yeah, we get along very well. We both complement each other's personalities. He goofy, I'm goofy. Uh, he might be a little bit more goofy than I am, but we we both have our moments. And yeah, we 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 get along very well. But I will say that uh, it's it's crazy how things work out because I talked to this to this man two times before the third time. I guess like they say, good things come in threes. Third time's a charm. But yeah, cause my past relationship was bookie. If you know, you know. Men, not all men, but a lot. Baby, I think just about every woman has had that encounter. What do I mean? I might be wrong, but I know I'm right. Cause baby, these men, I ain't gonna get into it. But if y'all, if they ever, if my exes ever come across these videos, I want you to know that I'm in a better place, better space, doing something that a lot of y'all didn't support me in. Now look at me, with almost 68,000 subscribers on YouTube, getting paid for YouTube. Some of y'all doubted me. Some of y'all didn't think I was going to make it here. But, baby, we're not going to talk about that because I, I will get mad, okay? But... Um, my birthday, my birthday is in August, August 30th. Uh, I was born in the 90s. Uh, I'm 27. I'll be 28 this year. I'm a Virgo. So, hey, shout out to all my Virgos. Virgos groove. But, um, yeah. And, I like, I initially wanted this video to be, like, a, a Q and a a question and answer. And I made a post, a community post, and was like, y'all, I want to do a quest question and answer, a Q&A. Drop y'all questions. I think only one, maybe two people posted a question. Baby, I can't do nothing with that. Post y'all questions. I'll make another post, or y'all can drop y'all questions in the comment section of this video. Because, baby, I need some questions so I can give y'all some answers. Now, keep it appropriate, because I do have kids who subscribe and watch my videos. A lot of, my, a lot of them are former students from when I was a teacher or students who were in the school. That I taught it. So they be watching my videos. Hey y'all, hope y'all doing well. Stay in school. Hold on y'all, my mama calling. Alright y'all, so. Yes, like I was saying. I forgot what, what was I saying. A few moments later. I don't remember what I was saying. But anyway. Yeah, I, just, I really just wanted y'all to get to know me a little bit. Because I feel like y'all on my channel and like, oh, I was talking about them Q&A's. Drop them questions. Because what y'all, drop them questions. Because what, what I'm supposed to talk about if I ain't got no questions. Y'all want content? I'm trying to post. But I need some questions. Okay? Okay, Bookie? So that can be my next um, Tea Talk with Breeze question. So y'all got a week. I'm trying to do these weekly. What's today? Tuesday? I'm trying to drop these every Tuesday. So I'm going to need y'all to post them questions. So I can come back and answer these questions on my next Tea Talk with Breeze next Tuesday, all right? And y'all, I talk with my hands a lot, so get used to that, because y'all gonna see that a lot, a lot, okay? But, yeah, like, I just really want y'all to know me. I just want to have, like, that bun, that screen bun with y'all. Like, even though I can't physically see y'all, I don't know y'all. I don't know if I will ever meet you all, but I wish I to feel like y'all know me. Because I have a favorite YouTuber, and I'm going to shout her out because I don't know if she would ever come across my videos. I don't know if she would ever subscribe to me or ever watch my videos because I don't know if my content is her type of content because she is older. She's not old, but she's older, and I'm younger, so I might not have the type of content that she wants that she likes. But her name is Javlogs, J-A-V-L-O-G-S. Her name is Javon. She has a nice family. I think she has five kids. Husband, they live in Florida. They're doing very well. And baby, YouTube did that for her because I've been watching them since they was in Ohio. Watch the kids grow up. Watch them move to Florida. Get their lives, get their lives together. You know what I'm saying? Their lives were already together. We got even more together. So I was like, baby, like that. That was motivation. I like every time she posts a vlog, I watch it. Like her notifications are on on my phone, and that is that, like I am dedicated to her channel. Like I love her. Like, every time I go to Florida, I be hoping I be running to her, and I never do. But one day it's going to happen. 
one day I'm gonna be in Florida and I'm gonna run into her. But yeah, I'm gonna shout her out. I highly 10, 10 out of 10 highly recommend. I think y'all should go watch. If y'all like, if y'all like down to earth, real, raw vlogs, like none of that, none of that putting on the egg, doing pranks, like scripted stuff. If y'all like that, which is what I try to provide to y'all, y'all would like her too. Highly recommend 10 out of 10. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm not going to make this very long because if I keep talking, like I can talk about myself and just things in general for a very long time. But yeah, I just want to make this like a quick little get to know me. Like I said, y'all can ask me more questions. I'll put that in my Q&A or my next weekly tea talk with Breeze. Um, excuse me. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And when I say comment, I mean comment them questions, okay? Because I need some questions. But I'll see y'all in the next vlog. Bye.